We're here at Interbike with Doug Pitt of World Serve International. Great to have you stop by and chat with us. Happy to. Thanks for having me. Now, you're doing some pretty fantastic rides this year. You just finished the Leadville 100, but you live in Springfield, Missouri. How are you training for the climbs? And we're getting into a really big climb here in a minute. You know, that was probably my biggest stress about doing Leadville. You know, I'm brand new to an endurance event of any kind. So I was working with Carmichael training just on the training part. But I had a couple of trips to Colorado and pre-rode Leadville a couple of different times and did a camp there. And uh, it was, a, it, it was a essential for getting over that line. Now tell us a little bit about World Serve. You raised $100,000 for the charity at Leadville alone. You bet. Uh, we, get, we had 100,000 in sponsors, and uh, one of them was Otterbox out of uh, Fort Collins. And the, the deal was, though, I had to finish. You know, uh, mountain bikers are tough. You know, I'm kind of new to this sport, and I was like, well, you know, if you only make 80%, maybe they only have to pay 80 And the, my biker friends were like, no, that's not how it works. You get over the line, and uh, so that was the deal. So we trained really hard, and uh, luckily, 10 hours 22, um, we made it. Where's and your belt uh, <laughs> I've got are you kidding? I've got a shrine for it. I've got a at home. Uh, I'm proud of that thing for sure. But it was a great relief to cross the line knowing that we got a hundred grand to go to clean water in Tanzania. Now tell us about your Africa tri trip that's coming up, and also about drilling for clean water. Uh, I've been involved in the clean water drilling in Tanzania for about six years, and we do about eh, 200 projects here in just Tanzania alone, and now moving into Kenya, and. Uh, but the Kilimanjaro thing is pretty special. In February, with Trek Travel, we'll be climbing Kilimanjaro, but then biking down it. Uh, it's just cool by, its, by itself, but the fact that bikes are illegal on Kilimanjaro, so we got special... Sure. Per yes, no, you can't do it. And that's really what makes this trip really unique. Uh, I was the first American on record to do it in January of 2011 when we did it as a test. And uh, so we got special permission to do it this one time with Trek Travel. So a very, very unique opportunity, and uh, all of our net proceeds are going to clean water. And uh, so that'll be the deal. In February 2013, you'll climb Kilimanjaro, uh, then get a chance to order your own Trek bike, ride it down, and then keep it. So we got the world's coolest souvenir at the same time. And uh, But the great thing is you're going to get a chance to go into a Maasai tribe and see the actual people that were helping with clean water. We do a cool ceremony and they sing, they dance, and the gift exchange, and really it brings home exactly why we're doing what we do. What's your goal as far as dollars to raise and how can someone join? Our, uh, the website's WorldServeintl for international.org. Uh, my website's just dougpitt.com and there's links to both to get there. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of $20 donations can go a long ways. We say $20 will provide one person a generation of clean water. So $20, bucks, uh, that means a lot to one person in Tanzania. If they want to get involved, go to trektravel.com. Read about it, uh, the Kilimanjaro ride. Uh, I, won't, I won't kid. It's expensive. I mean, it's $55,000 for the opportunity to bike down Kilimanjaro, but it is a one of a time, about as epic as you can be. When you get to the top of the summit of Kilimanjaro, you actually have the glaciers below you, and you get to ride that ridge. I, you know, it's the single greatest mountain biking moment I could ever dream up, and having done it, I can tell you it's the truth. It's uh, something really special. We look forward to, you know, I wish it weren't this expensive, but we got one chance to do this trip. We've got a chance to hopefully raise what we think will be close to a million dollars, and uh, we're going to save a lot of lives through this trip. Doug Pitt, thanks for taking the time to visit with us. I appreciate it very much. Thank you.